Hey guys, how are you all going? So here we are for another day of my Facebook Live Challenge. Um, I just want to thank you all for jumping on and for the ones who have been jumping on and interacting with me and all that sort of stuff. So today I wanted to go into facing your fears because obviously that's what I'm doing here. I'm facing my fear um, and I obviously, you know, there was a reason for me to 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 think about you know the fact that you can face your fears and there is there is a light at the end of the tunnel from doing that so I really think that facing our fears is a good thing and not a bad thing and so I just want to um, want you to get to have a bit of a think for yourself you know make a conscious decision to overcome your fears and identify that fear so see if there's any truth in it are you just fearful because of you know something small or is it a huge fear that causes you anxiety try and identify that and then work out a way to work around it there's always an underlying belief that to cause it so if you're feeling fear coming on uh, know that it means that you're, you're changing something to move forward so you know that's like me with these Facebook live videos I'm now connecting with a lot of people because of them which is really good and that makes um, you know that makes for a um, it's just showing I suppose that it does work you know to get yourself out there and to get your face out there and then you know you can connect with more people ar around the world and it it does show that that's happening so that's a good thing um, and then if you do feel it coming on <clears throat> know have a think about what beliefs you want and what's stopping you so um, what what do you think is stopping you from doing whatever it is that's causing the fear and try and work around that so you can face that fear because you're always going to feel so much gratitude from doing that and so much more belief in yourself if you face your fears rather than having them be you know everything in your life um, okay so they say that fear F E A R is false evidence appearing real so that's you know that I really like that little saying and they say that the three biggest fears people have is public speaking, being vulnerable and judgment. And we all know judgment is a big one. It's probably the number one, you know, because <clears throat> we don't want to get judged and we don't want to get um, looked upon in a different way or we don't want our friends and family to think anything different of us. But sometimes facing your fear can make them, you know, that can make them even more proud of you. So I think that facing your fear is a really good thing. So choose to make friends with fear. And learn to love it. It's not going to go away. So you think about, you know, you face a fear and you conquer it. And then there's a, that's not where it stops. There's always going to be more fears from then on. Because the more you grow and the more you go up um, in confidence because you're facing fears, then you're going to want to push yourself to face even more fears. Does that make sense? So fear is never going to go away. And that's why we should try and, you know, learn to love it and get ourselves to overcome it instead of being fearful all our lives. And they say that the more you push yourself, you're going to learn more. So that means fear more in the process. So you really do have to learn to love it. And a good way to learn to love fear is to think of it the desired outcome. So, you know, fear doesn't have to be anything to do with just work or it could be something to do with family or it could be to do with your kids but that's a good way is to learn to love it because it's always going to be there and you know you, you've got a message to share there's obviously a reason behind that fear so you know the fear itself isn't what should hold you back if the message is stronger than the fear itself then you're always going to try and push through that which is a good thing um, and a good way to help you sorry if you feel you want to share what you know with everyone and everyone you love and care about it means you're meant to be doing it so I know you know I'm doing these videos because I love I'm all about marketing now I love marketing I love learning it and then I love teaching it as well and I also love meeting new people and interacting with new people and connecting and learning from others as well that's why I go to a lot of events and a, and a lot of different uh, entrepreneur events and you know things that come up in that sort of way because I love meeting people so you know that sort of thing is you know you're facing fears there by meeting new people all the time but I, I love that process because it means I've got new friends so for me that's a big thing um, and everything happens to you not for you so have a little think about that one you know we, we choose what we do in our lives and it all happens to us for a reason it only takes 20 seconds to overcome a fear so they say to just do it because once you put your foot in the door 
like me doing these live videos, once you've got your foot in there, you then, you know, you know you've conquered something and you're so grateful that you've done that and then you can obviously move on to something else that was causing you a fear and you feel really good about that because you, you've got more passion in your life because you know that you're achieving things. So I really find that to be a good thing. Um, and they say to have bad experiences first. So trust the process, not the outcome. You know, you, you've got to be bad before you're good and good before you're better. So, you know, the, the best part is just to put your foot in the water and do it. Because if you don't, that fear just is going to creep up more and more and you're going to really have an anxiety that starts to come on you when you think about these sort of things. And you need to have a great support network. So if you have a real fear for something, make sure you tell people about it and make sure you um, let them help you to conquer it. So have a great support network and let yourself stuff up in front of them first. You know, if you're trying to face a fear like this, the live video fear, or if you're trying to face a fear of um, having an interview for a job or something like that, you know, that that fear is going to have a good outcome no matter what. So... I just think that if you have a good support network around you while you're facing that fear or why you have these things in your life that are challenging for you, then that can be a great thing because they can be the ones to help encourage you and push you along. So that's really good. And they say that there's a, a crab bucket analogy. So um, this is like also like the sheep, you know, the, everyone follows the sheep. So Crabs will do whatever it takes to keep you in the pot, um, you know, like a crab pot in the ocean. And they will even kill so that you don't go and do something different. So this is where, you know, if you've got a whole pot full of crabs and one crab is trying to get out of their comfort zone and get out and get back into the water, all the other crabs are going to go around and try and pull him back into the pot because they know that's safe and they know that that's where the rest of them are. But the, when you've got this one crab that steps out of their comfort zone and does, you know, something a bit different, this is why they call it the crab pot analogy because those crabs will kill that crab because of him trying to be something different. And it doesn't matter if you're one of those ones that are out there that are trying to be someone different and you know you don't want to be a part of the masses. That's okay. And this is why you need a good support network to do that. You know, this is why I think that having a great group of friends or a great group of support like I know I do. I've got an amazing group of friends especially here on the Sunshine Coast and you know, we have so much fun together and so many laughs and tears and all that sort of stuff. And it's just having that support and especially from your family as well. I know my family support me in all everything that I do, which, you know, that really helps because they're, they're the most important part. You know, you want your family to support you in everything. So um, I just think that doing these things and facing your fear is is a really good way to just get yourself out there. And if you... You know, if you think you've got a fear in life that's holding you back massively, why not come and tell me and, and I, we can have a chat about it. And this is, I'm not saying I'm an expert at any of this, but I'm going through those same things as well. Facing fears, stepping out of my comfort zone and doing things greater than what I ever thought I could do. So, you know, I'm, I'm in that process as well. So if you're one of those people that are also in the process of wanting to face some fears and get out of your own comfort zone, Let's do it together. Like we can have laughs together uh, together about how much we're stuffing up. We can have laughs together about how many things we've done wrong in the week or how many things we've done right. You know, I just think that facing your fear is a really good thing. Um, oh, hi guys. I can see a few, few of you on here now. Yeah, bad before you're good and good before you're better. I love that. Yes, it's a great one, isn't it? Hi, Kirsty. Hi, Jasmine. <laughs> So yeah, that, that's that's all I wanted to say about facing your fears. I do it every single day um, at the moment. I'm facing a lot of fears and I'm, I'm so lucky and grateful that I've got you guys jumping on board and listening to these and watching me in my journey of, you know, facing these fears and and just going along in the path, you know, to, to try and be a bigger and better person and do more for myself and my family. So I thank you all for listening in and I will see you again tomorrow.